while back, I had the privilege to have interviewed the great Harley Race. When asked if he had any good memories of his early years, he talked about driving for Happy Humphrey. <laughs> I'd never heard of him, so my question is, who is Happy Humphrey? Happy Humphrey was William J. Cobb of Macon, Georgia. And if you go back and, and look at the, of course, everybody now, of course, like in, when I was a kid, one of the books on your shelf was the Guinness Book of World Records. Certainly, everybody still does that today. When the new edition comes out, you go and you get the Guinness Book of World Records and you read it cover to cover because it's fascinating, right? They got a good website. They have a website now? Well, there you go. But if you go into Guinness Book of World Records, at least back in the in the in the 70s when I was a child and doing that every year, you would see that William J. Cobb of Macon, Georgia, at that point in time, was the heaviest man who had, had ever lived until he got displaced by all these fucking freaks that have come along since then. But he was like uh, – at one point in his life, I think he weighed close to a thousand pounds or, you know, he was 800 pounds or thereabouts. And he wrestled as Happy Humphrey. Happy Humphrey was this old time cartoon character from the, you know, daily comic strips. And he was a huge fat guy with a balloonish pants and a fucking cap. And so that's what Happy Humphrey did. When it, that was his gimmick. He came before. He came after like Martin the Blimp Levy, but he came before like Haystacks Calhoun and Man Mountain Dean and, and the McGuire twins in the era of wrestling. So he was the the big guy that they would bring in for whether it be a battle royal or special attraction or whatever. And he was booked uh, at, at one point out of the central state's office, Kansas City and thereabouts. So Harley – when he was first getting into business, his first job was to drive Happy Humphrey around because apparently he had a specially designed Cadillac where the, the front seat was way up and the back seat. There was plenty of room where Happy Humphrey could get in the goddamn car, right? And he was incapable at that size of doing a lot of things. But I remember – I don't – I never saw Happy Humphrey. I'm not that old. But I remember when the McGuire twins wrestled in certain places – they had to come and take the bottom rope off the ring before their match so that they, cause they couldn't actually get up and step through the ropes because they, they, they were so immense and round because they were only about six feet tall, but they were over 600 pounds a piece. So th they basically took the bottom rope off and they rolled into the ring under the, and then stood up and then they put the fucking the, the corner turnbuckle, and put the bottom rope back on. And I would assume they did that for Happy Humphrey. But when Harley was driving him, the stories are endless. Like after the matches, how does Happy Humphrey take a fucking shower? Well, Harley would have to take him out in the back and t turn the garden hose on him or whatever the case may be. And I've often said that one of the classic pieces of pro wrestling memorabilia that does not exist but should is, is eight millimeter film of a 16 year old Harley race giving happy Humphrey a shower with a garden hose. <laughs> but if you've done, if you've made it through things like that, then, then that was even before his first car wreck of, of a number that almost killed him and, and et cetera. And that's why everybody in the business thought Harley race was the toughest human being it had ever walked because of all the things he'd lived through both mentally and physically. There used to be that picture. Do you remember of Happy Humphrey in the ring when Haystacks Calhoun, like their bellies touching, like they were yes. facing each other? Yeah, it was the <laughs> pass, the passing of the belly bump. <laughs> and you know, Happy Humphrey was the, the the senior attraction, and along comes old country boy Haystacks Calhoun from Morgan's Corners, Arkansas, and he wasn't as big as Humphrey, but he could move a little better. <laughs> <laughs>